Yeah, it's Tillman Darrow, uh, running in constituency 21. I've just uh, finalized my nomination. Um, Pembroke, constituency 21, why am I running as independent? Well, party politics has somewhat lived its, you know, had its time. And I think that, you know, when I look at the amount of people that have crossed the floor and uh, it's nothing that constituents can do about it. Uh, the amount of people that you know stood as independents uh, after being elected under a banner, you know, I realize that any day we all vote for people rather than parties. We just hope that they're going to be honest and represent us in that party. And as I've seen and we've seen in the past, that sometimes people can have a change of heart and say, you know what, I'm not you know a part of this party. Thank you for your vote, and I'm standing as an independent. Well, I'm coming to you today, right? You know. If hand on heart telling you that my party is the biggest party I've ever re ever represented, and that's the consensus of uh, 21, 1,100 plus uh, uh, members in my constituency, and I plan on meeting with them on a weekly basis, like you do in a party, to find out what the issues are and what is it true to the heart that they would like to see done and change. I think that that constituency in the past, under both governments, you know, has been um, somewhat left, you know, on its own, right? And I think uh, this will probably be the first time that the constituents have an opportunity to vote for someone that's homegrown, someone that's from the area, and someone that actually truly understands and wants to make change. What do you say to the electorate that says independents won't have any power now? Well, there has been a few demonstrations where independents or one person, you know, has made a difference. Um, you know, I, I draw reference to when um, the, uh, the, the shuffle of the principals at, at the schools and you know a few parents and people got together and said look we're not having it and they, and they made a change they made a difference um, uh, again I reflect to you know uh, a person getting elected uh, as part of a party and then standing as an independent in the house and still making policies and making change you know um, in closing I'll say this is that uh, at the end of the day right we all have to be able to believe that the person to be selected is somebody that's true and somebody that's going to make change. And I've heard both parties use the word change, you know, as just a word, right? You know, change is something that means a whole lot, you understand, to me in particular, you know, and that's what I want to stand for. All right? Thank you.